Let's develop a Chrome extension with ChatGPT and Cloud. Today I want to show you how to create a Chrome extension. In that case, the Chrome extension will help me to understand how to write better titles for the YouTube video that I do. And the thing is that I want to build a Chrome extension that what it will does is that I will enter to a YouTube video from a good creator, YouTuber, and ask it to copy all the titles this person has. It will help me to write better YouTube titles from my YouTube channel. So here's the Chrome extension, a very simple one. I will go here. There is, let's call it Title Genius. I write here how many titles I want to scrap, then click on Scrap, and here it will show me the, the title, how many views, and when it's uploaded. So I will be able to analyze a little bit what it's a better title based on views and upload. It's giving me some hints. Now, the next thing is to explain to chat what I want to do. So here there is the explanation about the Chrome extension that I wanted to create. I write here to chat, I'm a product designer will be a Chrome extension to scrap YouTube video uh, titles. The Chrome extension will help me to study the best YouTube titles, how it's work, point to consider. So I will copy all this text, go to ChatGPT, paste it here. Okay, and then I will do two more things. I will copy this image and then paste it in chat. Now let's run and get the code. So it's asked me to some clarification. It looks like you upload an image. How can I assist you with it? Do, we, do you analyze feedback or any modification? I will write it. So I write it that this is the image of the Chrome extension and I ask it to start to create it. Now it starts to create all the files for the Chrome extension. So it uh, normally has uh, three, four, five files uh, on the extension, but not more than that. So it's created the first file. It's called manifest json and i will ask it to create all the other files so one moment i divide them and as you can see this one file manifest.json pop, pop up html and pop up css so it's create everything on one block of code but i want to write divide it because it will be easier to me to create the file so i write it divide the code to different files it run and it start to divide the code it didn't work as i expected let's say it divide the code to different block codes so now it works, as you can see here, one of the code, the second one, the third one, and CSS, background JS, content JS. I will create the folder and let's continue. What I will need to do, create a file with the name of each of the code and then upload it to Google Chrome. I will show you in a moment how to do it. So I created all the files here in Sublime, as you can see here, simple code editor. I wanted to do this video is something basic, not something complex, so you will able to understand how to do this. Of course, you can use another more advanced code editors, but I want to show you that with the simple tools, you can create magic. So we had a folder with all the information. And what I need to do now is to add this plugin to Google Chrome. So let's see how to do it. Here in Chrome, you click on the extension icon and manage extensions. Now you click on load unpacked and select the folder where you put all the files. As you can see, this is my folder. I select and we have an error because the icon, icon cannot load. So, so in Figma, I created three icons, logos for this scrapper. Here they are and I download them and add it to the folder. Here is my folder. I will paste them here. And one thing that I want to see what the name that, that's in the file. So the plugin will understand where to take them. Here in Sublime, first of all, you can see the icon are here. Here in manifest, you can see here are the icons and I call them 1 to 8, 16, 48. This one will be 16. This one will be 48. And that one will be 1 to 8. Perfect. I save. Let's go to the Chrome extension to see if it works. Click here on try again. Magic works. And you can see that the, and you can see that the extension is here. I can add the, the image here, but uh, for now, I don't want to put the time on that. Let's continue to the most important thing, how it works. Just let me know to make it easier. When you click here, pin the extension so it's really better and easy to work and test it. And here we have it. Let's click on it to see how it looks. It's take all the information, but not the styles. Let's fix it. I move to Figma and here I will select the visual design. What I can do now is to take this image that I created with spec plugin in Figma, this one, and start to add the styles to the extension. So I will select it, copy the image, move to ChatGPT, paste it here, and say, it, update the visual design based on this image. Let's upload the HTML file, the CSS, of course. Perfect. So what I will do now, copy both of them, 
let's copy this one, move to Sublime, I go here to pop HTML, paste the code, save, move again here to the CSS file, let's see that it's finished, perfect, click on Sublime on the CSS, paste, save, and now let's see what changed. Let's go to the Chrome extension again, click on it, and you can see that it's get, it's look better than before, but still we need to fix the design. And, and I move again to Figma, take all this information and make the same process. Copy this PNG image, paste it here, and again, move here, copy the visual design, uh, update the visual design based on the image, hit the button, and it will generate the code for us. Now, there is more easy way to do it if you work Corsair or another code editor that use AI, but I want to show you again in this video that with the most simple tools, you can get the Chrome extension that you need because not all of us will pay for many tools. I pay for ChatGPT and more tools, but sometimes I don't want to pay for more tools. I prefer to do it more manually because I don't work all day with code. If I need something, I use ChatGPT. And we'll part that that I have access for the all three models that are very powerful and they solve a lot of issues. For me now, it's okay. If in the future we want to use Corsair or another tool, I will do it. This is the code that I updated. You can see here, I copy, paste it on the CSS file. I save, open again the extension. So oh, it's not well, no problem. Let's do it step by step to explain to the machine what we want to do. I will start with the buttons here. I will click on the button, click on specs and get the information. Let's copy all this image, move to ChatGPT, paste it and ask it to update the button based on this information. I say to it, the visual design of the button based on the information in the image. I focus the chat to focus on part of the application. So here we, we it's generated the code, I copy it, move again to sublime text here, paste it, save, and back again to the extension. You can see that it starts to look as we wish. Not exactly the same, that's normal because to do it exactly, I will need to work more accurate. I will do it in the same process, but I want that this video will be very large. I will fix it and let's continue from there. The way that I will do it, it's the same. As I show you, copy paste, maybe sometimes I will tweak the code manually to move faster, but it's the same process. Here I finished the update, the visual design, as you can see it here. I can make more tweaks, but for now it's okay because it's not 100% as I designed it. I need to tweak more the CSS, but for now it's okay for the demonstration. Again, I just upload information to chat, ask it to change the code, copy paste, and we have this visual design here. I did some small manual tweaks because it, I understood how to do them and took me less time than the chain. Now we have it. Now for the brain of the application here, okay, open YouTube search page, extension. Now for scraping, we need uh, some code. Select one of the HTML assets that explain to the extension what information to take. If I click in YouTube now, you can see here and open the inspector, I can go here, click on the selector and select this one. You see it, select the title. Here, I click on copy and then copy selector. So I did it for the title, for the number of views and when the video uploaded. We have it here, all of them. This is the selectors and I will use them. What I will do now, I open the chat GPT, start a new chat. The chat I work on has a lot of information and I want to start from scratch, so it's more clean. I now upload all the files of the Chrome extension here. Click on Upload from Computer, select the files. No need to select the PNG file of the icon. It's not necessary in that case. And we have them here. So I use now the model 4.0 and I ask it act la like a developer and read this code. This code is Chrome extension. Explain me what it does. Now it will understand all the information Let's change here the uppercase. I run it and it starts to explain you what the Chrome extension does. So it's run all the information. So it's updated the code. Here I need to update two files, the pop.js and the content.js. So let's copy this one from here. And I go to the pop.js file and decide to me to change this function, scrap titles. So let's go to Sublime and here, and here I'll paste the new function. Click on save. Let's take then another one. 
let's take now the information from content.js. So here I will paste it and now let's see how it works. Okay, so I run the test, see if it's work and it didn't work. And basically what happened is that after click on the button scrap, it didn't work. And I tried to fix it with OpenAI ChatGPT for all, but it didn't uh, work. I could open it with all three or to make it uh, faster, but I wanted to see if with the basics models, I can fix it. Uh, with ChatGPT, it didn't work. So I moved to Claude, as you can see here. I upload all the files and start to debugging all the problems that I have. Act like a developer and read this code. This is how I wrote. It's read all the code. And then I explain the problem. After click on the script, it not work. How can I fix it? And basically it's fixed the two files. And then I needed to copy and paste. It did a very good job. After that, I, could, I made some more tweaks. For example, to be sure that the URL work well. So the plugin will understand what page to scrap. So I said it, this is example of a page. Is it okay in the code? And it says to me, it's, it's okay. Then I did some another questions. I asked it, make it general, not only for UI. So it will not search only when I search for AI videos. And then here below, I had an error. I paste the error. It fixed it. Again, I opened, I opened the information, copy from here, paste on Sublime. And then it's work. I finished to make all the changes and finished to develop the extension. You can see it here. If I click here, we have, for example, five titles. I click on, it's give me all the information here. I can make a little bit tweaks in the CSS, but for me, it's now it's okay. It is not a product that will go to production. For my use, it's enough now. I can click on copy result and they go here, paste it here. And you can see each title, channel, views, upload date, iteration. And now I can analyze the title and understand how to write better titles from a YouTube video. So that is all for today. If you need the product designer or my information in the description, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.